today we found a tiny baby squirrel that was abandoned, separated from his family. So here he is right here. Look at this little guy. You can see he's laying right up here and he's kind of sitting in the sun. If you look at his hips. He does look a little thin. His stomach is not fat. So we're going to look all around here for the mom. There's squirrels? There's more babies up here. There's look, 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 look. Oh my God, there's up in the tree. Look, look, look. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now it is springtime here in South Florida. And as you can see, we've got bright blue skies. The sunny sun is nice and sunny. And with the springtime here in South Florida, it means there is a lot of baby animals. And today's video is all about baby animals and more specifically about baby squirrels. Today we found, well, well, not me really it was my mom that found it and then I came to the rescue but we found a tiny baby squirrel that was abandoned separated from his family and that is all I'm gonna tell you guys so we found this squirrel and if you guys want to know what happened with this squirrel if we reunited him with his family where he is now what the heck is going on with this baby squirrel well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into the madness all right guys my mom just called me out and we're literally sitting down at the table figuring out what we're gonna film today for all of you guys my mom's on the phone out here she comes in and tells me to come out because there's a baby squirrel that's right over here so i went out i looked at the baby squirrel and the baby squirrel looks a little bit injured so the baby squirrel's right over here on the railing in the carport he's literally sitting there i don't know if you zoom in if you can actually see him he's like way over there and he looks tiny now this could be a squirrel that's just starting to move away from the nest Maybe the mom is nearby. No idea. I didn't approach this animal because I wanted to get the gloves, but let's take a look at him. We're going to walk over here. This is crazy. My mom is over here. Mom, come here. My mom's on the phone right now. But there's the little squirrel. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to lose him. We don't want to lose him. Mom, where's the squirrel? All right, we're going to go look. Let's actually come this way. But I'm going to get some gloves first because this squirrel is a little bit older. His eyes are open, so if he is a little wild, um, he could bite me and we don't know if he has any diseases. So whenever you're handling wild crazy animals wear gloves wear protection But here he is. He's right here Guys, this is insane. He's definitely fell from the nest. Look at this. Okay, we've got our gloves. Look at this This is honestly so crazy that we're finding this right now. This is so cool So we've got a little baby squirrel right here And we're just gonna come over here with our gloves. I think we're gonna go this way basically what we want to do now is we Want to approach him slowly and see if he actually is indeed injured but we want to go around so we don't scare him so that's why we're getting these big leather gloves on again this guy's tiny but these little squirrels can pack a little bite so we don't want to get bit today because again these little squirrels can be so fast like literally like little rockets basically like little bullets so here he is right here look at this little guy you can see he's laying right up here and he's kind of sitting in the sun and a squirrel of this size is still gonna be kind of drinking mother's milk a little bit. He's probably just kind of getting weaned. Mom, this is crazy. I'm making your appointments on the phone and I walk up, I thought it was a rat. I know, look at him, look, he looks a little injured. So guys, we're gonna come up here right now. Now let's take a look. So upon first glance, I can see that he looks a little bit skinny in his hips. If you look at his legs right there, you can see he definitely looks a little skinny and he's actually breathing really fast. Now he's definitely a little bit scared of us right now, but here he is a little, orphaned baby squirrel. I don't see mom nearby at all. I don't think this little guy has a mom right now. So we're gonna see if he'll just come into my hands right here. As you can see, we're gonna come and pick him up just like this. Hi there, little guy. So we've just caught a little baby squirrel. Oh, that looks like muscle spasms right there. So he could have some trauma to his legs. Maybe he fell from a tree, guys. I have no idea. But what I do know is we're here to help him out. You can see he's got this incredible, beautiful, fluffy tail. He's got this little arch in his back, but you can see he was trying to nibble the glove, so that's why we definitely wanted to wear these thick leather gloves. Look at this little guy, he's absolutely adorable. So cute, and he's definitely active and alert, right? He's got these nice clear eyes, but the way he's holding his head is just a little bit strange. So we're gonna have to get this guy in. He might be a little bit dehydrated again. I don't see mom nearby. First thing you wanna do is hold this little guy here, and we wanna try and find mom, right? That is uh, that's what we gotta do. Mom, come here. Look at it. Look, 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 look. He's so cute. Do you want to pet him? Yes. Just touch his little tail. Just touch it. Look at him. Look at him. He's cute. How cute is he? So cute. So cute. So guys, we just caught the little squirrel. So what we want to do is we want to kind of walk around right here. Again, you look at his hips. He does look a little thin. His stomach is not fat. He's definitely in need of a meal. 
So that leads me to believe that he fell from a nest. Maybe the mom is nearby. So we're gonna look all around here for the mom, because again, the mom could be nearby, but we wanna keep this baby a little bit shaded. We don't want him to be in the sun. If he is dehydrated, being in the sun would further dehydrate him. But I wanna come up here to this big TV hut and actually look, because in the past we've seen squirrels up here, not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any nests up here. I'm not seeing any adult squirrels. Mom? He's so calm. He's so calm. He's so Look, calm. so you got off the phone as the appointments made? Yes, appointments okay. are done. Guys, if you have not been here on the channel, and then you have not met my mom, but if you've been here, this is my mom. Hi. And my mom always seems to find crazy animals when Every she's out time. here. Yeah, it's insane. Well, you found snakes by the monkeys. Did we yes. find a squirrel before? I think we have found a squirrel Did we before? find one yes. here? I think it was here. Maybe it was a little bird. Birds? I don't I don't really remember. But this is the craziest find. But Look, look at his this hips, is, look. Oh, you see his skinny? skinny? So he's definitely in need of a meal, but we're looking, oh, yeah. have you seen a mama squirrel anywhere? I have anywhere? not seen, usually I see the mommies over there. So have so. I, oh, oh, guys. Uh oh. He's climbing up my neck right now. Oh, my he's climbing gosh. my neck. He might nibble my ear. Oh. Guys, wish me luck. The squirrel thinks my head is a nest. He was trying to climb up right now. This is so crazy. Let me, Hannah. Wait. Hannah, are you on FaceTime? Yeah, Hannah. what's up? You're not gonna believe what we found. Look what's on his Look neck. Look what mom found right over here. Look what's on his neck. There's a squirrel, Hannah. Wait. Look, oh Hannah, God. say hi to everyone. Hi. Look, we have wait, a squirrel. Wait. I don't know what happened, but he's on my neck. Is he adorable? He was in the he's carport. So Hold on, let's clean the lens. All right, he's tiny. He's, he's so little. He's little, but we don't know. We don't know if his mom is here. We don't know. We're trying to find the mom. He's definitely a little skinny. He needs a meal. He might need to go to the rehabber. Hopefully we can reunite him with his mom. But Wait, here he where is. Where was he? He was, he was just sit under the carport right there, sitting on the sitting railing. Sitting by the rack. Sitting there. Oh my gosh. He's crazy. Look what at him, look. He? Oh, there he is. He's a little nice, kind, sweet boy. So nice, so cute, so calm. So cute. All right, Hannah, well, I'm gonna give you back to mom. We're gonna keep searching. And guys, let's, let's go find mom. You know what? You know what I wanna check? I want to check inside of the owl box because oh. sometimes, all right, well, this guy's just hanging out, so I'm going to take the gloves off. We thought, I didn't know if he was going to be wild or not. He's definitely a friendly little squirrel. So basically, we want to check this owl box because sometimes squirrels will actually use that to nest. So we've placed these owl boxes kind of all over the place um, in hopes of owls reproducing, but other native wildlife actually use that box. So I think I'm going to get up there right now. I'm going to see what we can do. Buddy, you want to come along for the ride? You want to come? All right, is your mom at, wait, what? Your mom, your mom is in there? He just told me his mom is in there, so we're gonna kind of get up there right now. We're start climbing the tree, just like this. Ooh, got a little squirrel, buddy. And squirrels are adapted to climbing the tree. Oh, what's in here? Ooh, is there, there's a nest, there's definitely a nest. Do you see anything? I don't see I don't, anything. I don't want to reach my, wait. All right, it's an empty nest. The squirrel could have come from that nest right there, but I have not seen any mama squirrels around. I really haven't been seeing any big squirrels. It's just now. I think today is actually the first day of spring. Uh, let's find that out. So crazy guys, first day of spring and we already got a little rescued baby. Come springtime here in South Florida, we have tons of orphaned native wildlife. These little guys get displaced from their mom, they fall out of the nest, storms knock them out. There's a variety of things that'll actually displace these guys from their mother. So we're gonna check one more place right over here in the palm tree. We're gonna keep an eye out, but in the meantime, we're gonna get this guy set up inside. We're gonna call the wildlife rehabbers, um, see what they want us to do. A lot of times they'll actually recommend that we leave the baby squirrel where we found it to see if the mom comes out. But we don't wanna leave this guy in the heat because right now we are dealing with almost 90 degree heat. So if we were to leave this guy out and he were to sit in the sun, well, a little tiny squirrel like this could overheat and get dehydrated very quickly. So if we don't see the mom, we don't want to jeopardize his life. So mom, you want to head to that palm tree? Sure, I'm, gonna head. I'm thinking maybe here because I was walking. He might, there might be a nest up in the coconut palm tree. There could be a nest here, guys. We have no idea, but there's only one way to find out and that's by looking. Oh, I see it, there's squirrels. There's squirrels? There's more babies up here. There's more babies. Guys, this is insane. Look, 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 look. Oh my God, there's up in the tree. Look, look, look. Look, there's baby squirrels in the tree. Oh my Look gosh, at this. There it is. This is insane. No way. I can't <laughs> it. it must have come down That's to get crazy. some over here. So there's a little squirrel oh that definitely gosh. fell out from the coconut palms right oh there. You can goodness. see that's definitely his uh, his nest mate, his sibling. Oh but that guy looks a lot fatter. I'm a picture. 
Guys, that's so cool. Oh, there's a second. There's two. <gasps> there's two. <laughs> Guys, there's two baby squirrels. Guys, there's two baby squirrels that are showing up. Oh and we have the third. So what we have to do is, but this guy's definitely a little bit wobbly. So I do want to reunite him with the babies, but we might have to hydrate him first because this guy's definitely been displaced maybe since last night, yesterday, maybe only a couple of hours, but he's definitely got kind of a weak grip. Oh, oh my God. Look, look, oh my God. All right, I think we're just gonna reunite him with the mom right now, her, or his siblings. Come here, come see your buddy. Come, look, it's your sibling. I wanna see if he'll climb up. Now, even though he's a little weak, I do wanna see, and as you can see, he's definitely a little bit lethargic. You can see he's having a little bit trouble holding on. He's got that labored breathing and he is a little bit thinner than his buddy up there. So we wanna see if he's gonna climb back up with him. Do you wanna go up, buddy? So I do want him to go back up, but again, the right thing to do is to actually hydrate him because we don't know how long he's been separated from the family. So let's get in, let's hydrate him, and let's reunite him. He seemed like he was going through like some kind of a heat stroke out there, so you could see he's definitely shaking a little bit. He's definitely a little bit tired. So for the time being, we're gonna put him right here inside of this little crate right here. And this is where we're gonna put him for now until we hydrate him. So right now we're just gonna keep him right here and we're gonna be giving them some Pedialyte. So anytime you're dealing with a dehydrated animal, the first thing you wanna do is give them some unflavored Pedialyte. This is gonna help hydrate them, get them back to normal pretty quickly. So that's what we're gonna do before we put them back inside of the tree with his brothers and sisters. So we're just gonna open this on up just like this, just like that, it's sort of open. So we're just gonna open it and peel it and let's see. Definitely smells like Pedialyte and it doesn't really smell like anything because unflavored Pedialyte really just tastes like a little bit salty. It doesn't really taste like much. We're gonna take our little syringe right here. We're gonna pop it in. We're just gonna suck some of this out right here. So we got a syringe full of this Pedialyte. So it's exactly what we wanted right there. So we're just gonna put our lid back on like that. We're gonna move this stuff out of the way. And now we are gonna hydrate this squirrel. We're gonna get him back to health. So let's hydrate him. So right now we're gonna open this back up and you can see that this little squirrel, he's looking at us like he's a hungry little guy. So we're just gonna kind of swoop him up just like this. We're gonna let him kind of crawl onto my hand just like that. We're gonna close this on up and we're gonna lay a nice little rag on top of here. Now this is where we're gonna hydrate this little guy to make sure he's getting all of the nutrition that he needs to go back outside. So you can see he's definitely a little shaky. Now when I bottle feed and I do this stuff, and in this case we're not bottle feeding, we're syringe feeding, I like to go and have the animal on my left side and the syringe on my right side. So we're just gonna take this little guy just like this and we're just gonna kind of get it to a ball and we're gonna see if he wants some right here. So, oh, yep, you can see he's drinking it. Now, he has always drank from a mother's nipple, so this syringe is not gonna be very natural for him. So that's why we're gonna take this just like this and we're just gonna try and give him just a little bit at a time like this because he is not sure what to do and you can see that you just wanna give him just a little bit at a time because if you were to just squirt it down his throat, you could aspirate, that liquid could go into his lungs, it could cause pneumonia, so that's why you gotta be nice and slow with it. So you can see this little guy's here and we're just gonna put a little ball on the end like that and kind of show it to him to see if he sees it. So again, each animal is gonna be a little different. Some will actively take it, whereas others are gonna be a little more hesitant. So come here, little guy. So we're getting this guy right here. And oh, oh, there we go. He's figured it out. So we're just gonna give him a drop at a time like this. And you can see he's definitely a tiny, thirsty little squirrel. All right, everyone, we are back outside with our little rescued squirrel. And as you can see, this guy is hydrated, he's active, and he has cooled off, and the heat exhaustion has worn off. So now I am so excited to be reuniting him with his brothers and sisters and his mom. Now, I haven't seen the mom around here, so I'm still gonna be keeping a close eye on these little guys. I'm gonna be checking in on them to make sure mom is still around because I don't know if mom abandoned them, if something happened to the mom, because oftentimes that is what will happen. And maybe this guy got hungry, guys. I have no idea but the other babies are just way up in this coconut palm tree but you can see he's absolutely adorable and if you look right here oh there's his brother and I think his brother is probably a little bit angry right now you can see his little brother is right here he's looking at me and he's checking me out buddy are you okay so his little brother looks a little bit angry right now so what I'm going to do right now is we've got our little squirrel inside of our hands and we're just gonna put him right back up here with his brother here, buddy, look, I'm reuniting you with your brother here. Look, 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 you wanna crawl up? And as you can see, oh, there he goes. He's back up with his brother and back up in the nest. Here you go, buddy, so we just wanna watch him 
and make sure that he's gonna be okay. It looks like his little brother's behind him, kind of checking him out, kind of sniffing him. And look at that. We have a safe arrival back in the nest. This little guy's back in the nest. We gotta make sure he's gonna fully get in there. We can see that his little leg, oh, I don't know if his brother's trying to kick him out. But that's why we're here, we're watching. This is a little bit crazy, but also so cool because now there's three baby squirrels. That's what we saw. We saw two in the tree when we had the little guy out. But we're just looking at these little guys here. And I wanna make sure that the older siblings are not actually kicking them out of the nest because that's what'll happen with the runts is the older ones will actually kick the babies out of the nest. So we definitely don't want that to happen. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me over the past like five years. We've been on YouTube almost five years. We posted our first video April of 2019 and we're about to get there. April of 2019, we're now in 2024. We got five, almost five years of YouTube videos, which is absolutely amazing. We've got, I think, almost 500 videos, if not over 500. So, guys, you are just amazing. We have over half a billion views on the channel. I think we reached that mark, half a billion, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So, guys, thank you so much. So, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite part of today's video. And if you want an update on that baby squirrel and you want to see the rest of my crazy animal family, well, guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.